What should people understand about the cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin? Honestly, it's another fraud. <laughs> I, you know, I think that blockchain was invented by the government. And then they go, oh, well, it was invented by this Chinese guy. Nobody knows who he is or a Japanese guy or whatever. If somebody invented that and is just silent, how much money could they have made on royalty rights? They'd be a billionaire, all right? What is it with blockchain at this Bitcoin or whatever? If I give you a $100 bill, the government doesn't know where I got the 100 from. It's just between you and me. But if I give you a 100 in Bitcoin, they know with blockchain where I got it from. They can trace it all the way back. This is their ultimate dream that ends. They can trace every person that ever handled that and make sure they got their taxes. It's a complete control thing. And, and by allowing this to go, and I, I've said this when they were starting, I said, look, this is what governments do. They float a balloon and to see if it's accepted. If it's accepted, then they go full in. This you know, Bitcoin, it was a balloon. That was it. Oh, this is great. Oh, you had people saying, oh, Bitcoin's going to replace the dollar. And they have no clue about what they're talking about. Basically, you put out that propaganda, and I think a lot of it was orchestrated by the government. And you end up with people believing all this stuff, and then it makes it say, fine, we're going to eliminate all paper money, and we're going to get these, and they're better. See, they're better. Uh, it's better for them, not for us. But uh, and you got you know, say, uh, well, every central bank's been fooling around with issuing their own digital currency, and then they'll go, well, we'll give you one of these for two of those, and that's it. And they swap it all in.